Duck screw review. In this video, we are going to review some duck screws. I've got three different brands. I recently built a duck and I've removed some screws and noticed that some of the coating was off. So in this video, we're going to talk about the coating, the rust inhibitor that they use on these screws. We are also going to do a price comparison and we're going to do a little bit on the, con the construction of the screw or the features of the screw. Hi everybody, I'm Jim Deardorff and this is Detroit DIY. Let's get started. So what I have here are three brands of screws. I have Deckmates, I have Do It Screws from Do It Best Hardware. Um, and for those of you that don't know, Do It Best Hardware is the largest hardware chain in the United States. And we also have Grip Rights. All three are very popular screws and widely used. So what I noticed was that when I was um, building my duck, because of the pandemic, the screws were in shortage. So I used a variety of screws. In fact, I even had to use a variety of colors. So I got these in different colors so that we could do a little comparison here and see what we had. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to run these screws in and out of this wood about three or four times and have a look at the coating when we're done. And each time I'm going to go in a different spot. Let's go four times. Now in this video I'm not really going to talk about the drive or anything like that. The, so many preferences. I like the star drives. These are T25s and I really like them. I don't go through many tips. And sometimes this happens, the screw follows the grain of the wood. So there's four. So you can see a little smoke coming out there. It's getting hot. What I did do is I used, this is pressure treated four by four. I wanted to be fair because that's typically what these screws are used in is pressure treated wood. Make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to drop a bomb on this whole thing. So let's take a look at what we got. We'll start with the duck mate. It's a little sticky. It's got a little pine on it. As you can see, very little or none of the coating has come off of this screw. Even the drive has stayed nice. Very little color gone off of the screw. Very little coating gone. Let's look at the do it screw. Same thing here. Very little coating gone. A little bit in the head and a little bit around the edge of the bugle right here but not much. Now let's look at the grip right. We're in a bunch of the coating is gone. So I and I noticed this more with the black screws than with the other screws and I noticed it on my deck with the grip rights also that a bunch of the coating was gone and I thought uh oh we're in trouble here. However the coating that gives all these screws their color is a polymer and the purpose of the polymer is one to give it its color two to make the screw more slippery um, so to speak so that it screws into the wood easier saving your battery and three is a slight amount of protection however underneath this polymer all of these screws are electro galvanized so what I've done is I ran each one of these screws in and out of the wood two times and then I set them in some salt water and they've been in there for about two weeks. We're going to dig them out right now and have a look at them. So here they are. What I did was put about a cup of water in here and I put a handful of rock salt from my driveway. 
and here are the screws that I pulled out they have they've been in there for two weeks they have absolutely zero rust on them and as you can see it was also the same thing with the black grip right some of the polymer coating came off so in the beginning that's what concerned me but now that I understand that there is a polymer over the top of a galvanized coating I don't feel so bad about how long these screws may last so now after that I'm fairly well convinced that all three of these screws have an equivalent coating on them so it, it, even though some of it comes off it's just the polymer the rust inhibitor is still on these screws and these screws will last a very long time so I did about five hours of research on these screws to try and figure out who makes them where they come from so on and so forth so if you'll notice on the back of the box here it says that they are made in Taiwan grip rights are made in Taiwan do it screws are made in Taiwan and grip rights are made in Taiwan so upon research on the duck mates I started on first I could only find that Home Depot owns the patent on the name duck mate or the trademark on this name duck mate I could only find that do it screws do it best hardware owns the trademark for that screw on the grip rights however I discovered that Prime Source Building Products Incorporated holds the patent, the trademark on the grip right name. I've also discovered that Prime Source Building Supplies holds the name on Fasten Master, on SPAX. So all this stuff, these ledger locks and these construction screws or these uh, structural screws. So what I've discovered is Prime Source Building Products Incorporated is one of the largest procurer of screws in the world. Not manufacturers, procurers. So what also um, raised my attention a little bit or caught my eye is Griprite has Prime Guard Plus as a coating. Do it screws also have Prime Guard Plus as a coating. So what do you know? Grip right and do it screws are the exact same screws in different boxes. And they even put Prime Guard Plus on the box. So pretty easy to figure out that this is grip right screws in a different box. And I sent Prime Source Building Products Incorporated an email to try and get them to respond to me. Um, a little bit more about the coating and about these screws. However, when I was at Home Depot buying these deck mates, the associate for Grip Right was in the aisle and he was going through these screws. So I struck up a conversation with him to discover that Pro Source Building Products Incorporated also supplies these screws. So all these screws came from the same source, the same manufacturing facility in Taiwan and you know amazingly enough they're all basically the same screw so with that being said let's take a look at the construction of the screws and then we'll do a price comparison so all three of these screws are bugle head screws they all have the 17 the type 17 screw tip all three of them do and the type 17 screw tip has to do with this cutter that's on the end of the screw and this displaces it's kind of like a self tapper it displaces wood cuts wood out of the way so that it doesn't move so much wood that it has a huge tendency to split and that is what helps you to not have to pre-drill a hole for these screws to go in and then on the bottom side of the bugle head are these little cutting nubs and what them do is kind of cut some wood out of the way, move some wood, 
so that they countersink themselves very nicely without too much material being disturbed around it. That's what those nubs are for. And each one of these screws has the exact same cutting nubs and has the exact same starter. Now the grip rights and the do it best screws are identical. The deck mates are slightly different. The cutting nubs are underneath the bugle head the same way. Hopefully we can get an angle where we can see them. There they are. The thread design is slightly different. While the Type 17 cutter tip is still right there, the thread design is slightly different in these screws than what I see in the grip right and the do-it screws. These are also made out of a higher carbon steel and that is why they're not intended nor recommended for use in construction or in shear loading type recommendations. These screws are intended to hold things down, not necessarily um, shear pressure or racking type pressure or anything like that. These screws can break off and lead to disaster. Let's talk about cost. So when I was messing with these screws, I noticed that even though they're all, guys, I bought two and a half inch number nine, and even though they're all number nines, I noticed that the deck mate had a bigger body and a slightly bigger thread. So that got me to thinking if I'm buying a pound of screws, am I getting the same amount of screws in the deck mate box as I am in the grip right and the do it best box? So let's take a look. Grip rights came in at the most expensive. There are 91 screws in this box, and this one pound box was $9.48, which is averages out to 10.4 cents per screw. The do it screws. The do it screws had 93 screws in this one pound box, which also averages out to 10.3 cents. $8.99 for the box, 49 cents less than the grip rights. The exact same screw, guys, 49 cents less at Do It Best. So if you're a grip right fan, this is the exact same screw, and it's going to save you 50 cents a pound. That's substantial. All right, so let's look at the deck mates. The deck mates, because of their size and they're a little bit bigger, there were 77 screws in this one pound box, averaging out to 9.2 cents a screw. Not that much, but a penny a screw cheaper than the others. This was $6.97 for a one pound box, which is significant when you look at it as a one pound box, but when you look at it as to how many screws you get in the box versus how many do it screws and how many grip right screws you get in the box it averages out to one penny difference so i mean it depends on how many screws you're putting in that one penny can add up so this is two dollars and fifteen cents less than the grip rights and it's two dollars and one cent less than the do it screws one cent per screw guys so in my opinion all of these screws perform the same. The rust inhibitor is the same. The threads are similar. The screws are basically the same screws with the exception that there is some stuff that Home Depot has them making different on their screw. There's still star drives, but the thread design is a little bit different. Does it help it hold better? I'm not really sure, but I'm I've been pretty happy with the holding power of all of these screws. So for the money, and to know that uh, the screws are pretty much equal in their rust inhibitor coating, and that they're fairly equal in every other way, guys, I'm gonna have to say that the deck mates kind of win this at a penny cheaper per screw, even though there's only 77 screws per box, it's still a penny less a screw and it doesn't take that much to add up to some dollars. So if I can save $20 on screws, 
And uh, $20 is $20, guys. So in my opinion, there is no clear winner on rust inhibitive finishing, structure, or anything like that, because they all seem to be pretty equal in that department. And, I, and they're all made in the same manufacturing facility somewhere in Taiwan. Um, Prime Source Building Products Incorporated procures these screws and puts them in the box. So they're, they're basically built under the same standards. The Prime Guard Plus, I do know, is a, um, an approved coating, a certified coating from Rust-Oleum. Rust-Oleum has run it through the, some tests and they've put their stamp of approval on it. That is not on the Duckmate box, but to be honest with you guys, I've used these screws a lot. They've been my favorite for years. Um, they've switched through a few hands. I looked up the patents on these screws, and Phillips Screw Company used to own the trademark name Duckmate. Then it went to Homer LLC, maybe a little Home Depot thing, I'm not sure. Homer LLC held it again, and then it went to Home Depot. So... This name has been through a couple of companies. I did find some reviews saying that Phillips Screw made these screws, but they do not, guys. These come from Taiwan and they are procured through Prime Source Building Products Incorporated. So that's who puts these in the box. Exactly who makes these screws, I have no idea. A screw manufacturing company somewhere in Taiwan, it must be a large company and it must be producing a lot of screws. So to me, guys, I'd go with the Deckmates for one penny cheaper, and it even gets a little better when you buy the five pounds. So I don't think you can go wrong. These screws are going to last a long time, and they're going to save you a little bit of money. All right, that's all we got, guys. This is a wrap. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, click on one of those two videos right there. And please think about hitting that subscribe button if you're getting any value from my videos at all. Give me a like and hit that notification bell. Thanks everybody. And I'd give a special thanks to Tony Iaconelli and Brett Wimmer because none of this could happen without them.